a famous world leader once said this story of his life learning lesson watch this story and you would be surprised when you learn who this world leader is the way you think of others could decide your destination as a child i was a selfish child i always thought of myself first when receiving good things and never considered the feeling of others as a result in the school the companions left me one by one i was very upset over it and laid the blame to others one night my father cooked two bowls of noodles there was a white egg in one bowl and none on the other my father asked me which bowl would you prefer during that time eggs were very precious food in my country it was only on a festival or occasion like birthday that we had the privilege of having eggs in our meal as a selfish child i would not miss such opportunity and with no hesitation i chose the ball with an egg my choice was wrong i was surprised to see that my father's ball actually contained two eggs underneath the noodles i regretted it and hated myself for being too impatient noticing my reaction my father smiled and said to me son you must remember what is visible to the eye might not be true one who wants to take advantage of others will eventually suffer a big loss the next night my father cooked two bowls of noodles again there was still a white egg in one bowl and none in the other my father asked me to choose i was greedy and thought what i learned from previous experience should apply now and choose the ball with no eggs on the surface my father watched me silently and did not utter a word i quickly picked up the chopsticks steered the noodles to find the eggs underneath it i was very disappointed to see that there was no egg except the soup and noodles in the ball at this time my father said to me thoughtfully son you must remember do not trust too much in previous experience as life sometimes deceives you however you don't have to worry or sad over it life experience is something you cannot learn from textbooks you should be able to analyze the situation with both good and bad experience and select the best before taking a decision on the third night my father cooked two bowls of noodles again it looked exactly the same as the previous nights my father asked me to choose and i did not act rashly instead i said to my father dad you have sacrificed so much for me and for this family and you deserve the first choice you get to choose first out of my respect to you my father did not decline and with a smile chose the ball with an egg in it i guessed there was definitely no egg in the other world to my surprise i had two white eggs underneath the noodles in the bowl my father looked up and his eyes were full of kindness he said to me lightly son you must remember when you think about others good luck will bestow upon you that is the nature in the world the law of attraction i was stunned since then i have taken these four lessons as my principles of life the four lessons are number 1 what is visible to the eye might not be true always number 2 one who takes advantage of others will eventually suffer a big loss number 3 do not trust too much in previous experience as life sometimes deceives you you should be able to analyze the situation with both good and bad experience 
and select the best solution before taking a decision. Number 4. When you think of others, good luck will bestow off upon you. That is the nature in the world, which is called Law of Attraction. Since then, I never forgot these four beautiful interests of life. Regardless of whether it is for people or things, the first thing that comes to my mind is always the interest of others. As my father rightfully said it, luck bestowed upon me one after another. My career testifies to the principles of life I learned from my father. This theory of nature would apply to everyone. When you think good of others, even in most challenging environment, you would release more positive mind waves, energy to the environment, which attract more and more positive people and results. That is the law of attraction. That child now is the 11th head of state of China. President Mr. Xi Jinping. If you like this story, subscribe to this channel, give a thumb up, give a comment and share with your friends. Let the world be a better place. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you again from my next video.